It's that zest to flow, no, she must flow Yeah, 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 yeah Hello everyone, uh, my name is Harida Malamagot. Today I'm gonna give you a short and quick overview of Motorola SBG6580 DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem and also I will give you how we can configure it at the first time. It is really powerful client in device for DOCSIS te technology. Uh, so uh, let me show you general specification of this cable modem. It does support uh, DOCSIS and EuroDOCSIS and it has a cable interface uh, to connect a uh, uh, to connect our uh, RF cable, coaxial cables, and it has four gigabit ports, and it has our inbuilt uh, wireless with internal uh, antenna. It does support uh, 64 and 256 quam modulation and downstreams, uh, and its uh, theoretical data rate is. Uh, 400, 343 Mbps uh, Mbps in DOCSIS and 42.884 Mbps in 8 channel and it does uh, support uh, 444 Mbps uh, download speed in EuroDOCSIS uh, when it locked a downstream uh, let me come to upstream uh, it does support uh, QPS key modulations 8 quam 16 32 64 and 128 quam in uh, upstream and we can get a uh, similar uh, upstream uh, speed in your doxis and doxis this is the general uh, specification of this uh, cable modem and if you if you like to know more uh, more specifications and setup guide then uh, that is given in description below so let uh, so let's get into the cable modem page and I will show you the basic configuration as well. Uh, open any browser that you have and uh, type or uh, 192.168.100.1 and this is the page of this cable modem. Uh, default username is admin and mod, uh, password is Motorola. Yeah, now we are logged into the cable modem. Uh, this is the home page. Uh, let me uh, let me show you uh, one by one menus. Uh, I'm gonna click on the status menu. Uh, product information. Product information means uh, basic information of this uh, cable modem. You know, uh, this is the Doxus 3.0 uh, modems, hardware version, software version, cable modem Mac, and this is the uptime of time and uh, here is another option uh, connection and from where you can uh, check the status of your cable modem uh, whether it is online or offline and how many downstream it does uh, it, it, it logged and how many options it logged you can see from over here in my case it logged only down uh, it logged uh, for uh, up downstream and two upstream uh, here is another uh, here is another uh, menu uh, security <clears throat> from where you can uh, change the username and the password of this cable modem uh, currently it has a username as an admin and password is a Motorola but uh, but you can change the username as well as password here is an event logs of this cable modem uh, from here uh, you can it will be really helpful to troubleshoot if uh, if you are if you are facing any kind of issue on your cable modem so this is uh, very important and uh, another option there is a uh, configurations uh, from here uh, from here if you uh, you can you know manually set the downstream frequency and upstream fr uh, frequency uh, frequency uh, let me jump into the another uh, option basic basic and click on the setup you can uh, use this modem as a router as well as a uh, bridge uh, currently it is, it is working as a bridge but you can change uh, it from a bridge to a router uh, yeah as I told you it has a uh, uh, inbuilt wireless uh, internal antenna it has an internal antenna 
so if you would like to configure uh, wireless then just click on the wireless button and here is a uh, first name uh, first menu 802.11 radio from here you can you know uh, you can enable uh, your radio or disable also you can mm, and yeah another cool features of this cable modem is it has a dual uh, dual band 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz so you can select any one of them as per your requirement and here is a, a wireless mode a bandwidth 20 and 40 and channel, uh, channel selection it has 11 uh, channel uh, by default it uh, select the uh, less interfere interfered uh, frequency uh, frequency channel also you can uh, you know uh, manually select the channel and if you click here then it will uh, go back to your default Mm. Yeah, here is another menu primary network uh, setting uh, from here uh, you can you know enable the dis enable and disable uh, SSID and here is an SSID or your wireless name mm. and here if you want to uh, you know broadcast your uh, wireless then click on enable and if you don't like to uh, broadcast your wireless name then you just click on uh, disable and here is in wireless security you can uh, choose uh, any of the wireless security and uh, uh, you can you, you know you can set the, your wireless password from here uh, another cool feature of this cable uh, modem is access control uh, if you enable if you enable uh, this features and if you would like to you know give a internet allow uh, for a particular particular MAC address then you can list uh, the MAC address uh, MAC address or else if you don't like to allow some particular device to use internet from this uh, modem then select the deny option and then listed listed out the uh, uh, you know um, uh, MAC of those device for whom you would like to block the internet so this is also another cool feature of this cable modem an extended network this one is very good uh, uh, very good features and really we can get this kind of features on other cable modem uh, you know from here you can use this cable modem as a repeater as well if you enable uh, if you enable this then you can you know uh, huge as a repeater mm, quality of service uh, here is um, quality of service mm, another tab let me jump into another tab this is uh, advanced from here you can you know make a change according to your needs to uh, to use this uh, menu if you are if you are expert if you are not then uh, please leave it as it is yeah this is the basic uh, configurations and overview of Motorola SBZ6580 Doxus 3.0 cable modems thank you so much for watching this uh, my video